Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today I am doing a full face of Revolution makeup. Now there is a few products that I don't have from Revolution that I will be using instead but they will be drugstore. So I'm just going in with the bottom shade from the Makeup Obsession Fuse Highlighting Contour Palette just to fill in my brows because I don't actually have a brow product from Revolution. I'm just using a very thin um, eyeliner brush for this. Just checking my eyeball out there for some makeup that sometimes gets stuck. I did a different video before this, so just in case you're wondering on that one. As you can see, it's not the exact shade for my brows. It's a little bit lighter, but it's a good alternative if you don't have a brow product. Now I'm just going in with the Primark Eyeshadow Base Primer. I don't actually have an eyeshadow primer from Revolution, so I'm just using the Primark one because that's drugstore and it's very cheap. I'm just blending that out with a Real Techniques concealer brush. So now I'm going in with the Revelation Super Base Primer. This is really good for adding hydration to the skin um, before makeup. Before foundation, sorry. It's a really good product. And now I'm going in with the Revolution Line Fix Under Eye Primer. Of course, under the eyes. This helps to fill in those little fine lines that you've got under the eyes. No, I do really funny faces when I put any product on my face. Okay, so I'm now going in with the Revolution Hakuna Matata eyeshadow palette. And I'm just setting my lids here with the shade Hair. I don't actually usually set my lids, but for some reason today I decided this do a, do a change. I'm just using a fluffy brush from Morphe. And then I'm going in with the shade I'm Home. From the palette in my crease. It's a nice sort of mustardy yellow orange tone. And again another fluffy brush from Morphe. This eyeshadow shade did blend out pretty good. I would say the pigment for this one's pretty good as well. I'm just going in with the shade Timon now and I've, I'm just putting that from the outer corner of my eye into the crease just to add a little bit more depth to the shadow. 
again this shade blended out pretty decent Next, I'm going in with the shade Pumba. And I uh, just put that on my outer corner. Right now, I'm just packing it on just to get that depth of sh shadow that I want. Um, I would definitely say you need to build this shade up. It's not as dark as it shows on the palette. So you really need to build it up to get, you know, the pigment that you're wanting. I'm just doing the same on the other eye, working from the outer corner into the crease. Now going in with the shade Sazu, I did want to use this shade, I wanted a wee bit of a difference, I've never used colour with round shades before, so I thought oh let's try this blue, you'll see in a minute what I really think of this shade to be honest, I mean you can already see how terrible it is, I mean it looks good from a distance right there up close it was really really patchy I couldn't really get the pigment on I was using a flat packing brush as well from Morphe and I just couldn't get the pigment and you can see by my face right there I'm not impressed as you can see exactly up close there it's really patchy um, yeah, I, I just, I, I don't like it. Now I'm just going back in with the shade Pumba, just, you know, to add a wee bit more depth again to the outer corners, because at this point I was still choosing to use that shade. Now I went in with Look Inside Yourself, it's a shimmer shade, I thought maybe this will revive the blue. Um, because that was my original plan, I wanted to use the blue as the base and then put that shimmer shade over it and make it a nice sort of ice blue look. Um, but it just, it looked, it looked terrible. And this was me just really trying to revive this look. And as you can see, I ended up just going over it with the shade Pumba because it was just atrocious. It looked hor horrid. So then I decided to use the green shade from the palette and the green shimmer because I thought maybe this will revive it because I did want to use a bit of colour. And I will say that the green shimmer is pretty good. I was impressed with the green shimmer, I'm not going to lie. I'm just packing that one with my finger. Shimmers always go on better with your finger. Again with the weird face. I always pull weird faces when I do makeup, I don't know why, but it's just how it is. I decided to go in with the shade Simba just in the middle of the eye. Just to do like a sort, just add a little bit 
more beautiful shimmery yellow tone in it I thought it would work really well and it did because it looks good <laughs> would I say this is my best ever eyeshadow look that I've ever done no it's definitely not my best but I was working with what I've got um, I do have other Revolution palettes but I wanted to give that a try because I've never actually used it yet I wouldn't say it's the best palette if I'm honest I'm quite disappointed in its quality overall and now I'm just tidying up the fallout with a baby wipe again with the weird faces So I'm going in to the inner corner, I believe it's the shade Betrayed. Could be wrong, I'm really sorry, but I believe it is. I don't know why I pull these faces. I feel so sorry for anybody that's sitting watching this. <laughs> Just... And again, checking my eyes. Makeup seems to just love going in my eyeballs, you know. Okay, so I'm just going in with the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Again, don't have a mascara from Revolution. And I felt like this was a good alternative because it's drugstore. And I have a really weird mascara face, so enjoy that. I always move my tongue in my mouth like that. I don't know why my face, honestly. I just have a really weird face when it comes to putting makeup on. Okay. So now I'm going in with the Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. This is in the shade F4. And I'm just looking for my beauty blender at this point, so don't mind me. So I'm just applying that all over the face pretty much. I used this in the past when it first came out. And I remember I really, really liked it, but this is, of course, a new bottle, and I've got to say, I love it just as much as I remember it to be. I can see why it was very hyped at the time when it came out. And you get really good coverage from this. And it's so easy to blend out as well, it's a little too light for my skin tone. Unfortunately, I bought it online and it's really hard to tell the shades because I'm more used to like actual shade names like beige, ivory and things like that. But when it's under numbers like A4, that sort of thing, it's really I, I really struggle to be able to tell what shade I'm actually going to be because the photo of the swatch of this foundation looked a lot darker online than it is in person. So... Yeah, that, that's why it's a little too late for me. I look a little bit like a ghost, I'm not going to lie. I look like Casper. Like, I look ill. Now I'm going in with the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. And this is in the shade C4. Again, this concealer is just as good as I remember it to be. Really full coverage. And I know in the past it was meant to be a dupe to the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which I've never tried before, but um, I know a lot of people on YouTube were saying that it it was meant to be a dupe. I, ca I can't test that though because I don't have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. 
and honestly I don't really tend to use thick concealers anymore I tend to go from I, I tend to use light to medium concealers now because I'm a little bit older um, but even at my older age now it still agrees with my under eyes so I'm very very pleased and I won't ever conceal under my eyes the rest of my face really doesn't need any concealer so I don't add it because there's no point adding extra product to your face it's just you don't want to be cakey Now I'm going in with the I Heart Revolution Peach Baking Powder. I'm just blending out my under eye creasing in case I have any. Because we do not want to set these creases. I'm just going in with a powder puff under the eyes. I actually really, really loved this powder. The, the scent is quite strong though. If you don't like very strong scents, then I wouldn't recommend it. But it does smell very similar of artificial peach. And I, I really did love it. I felt like it really smoothed my under eyes out. And it was pretty pretty good, it didn't feel heavy under the eyes and now I'm just setting the whole face with the same powder and I'm using the powder puff that came with it and it was actually pre pretty good, it was, it was alright I figured I would use that just to see if it was any good and it, it's pretty good. finding my products again. I should really be more organised when I do the videos. And I'm digging out gushies that I want to use. <laughs> Typical. Okay, I'll move on. So I'm going in with the Revolution My Fashion Malibu Sunset Palette. With and I'm using the bronzer shade that doesn't have a shade name and I'm using it on my cheeks but I picked up way too much product as you can see by the face so I got the powder puff and I'm really trying to blend that out and fix that and now I'm just battering myself apparently because that's what you do Going off the forehead and the temples. I usually actually only bronze the temples if I'm honest. I don't even know why I've done it all over the forehead, but I guess it kind of helps save that foundation since it's too late for me. Now I'm going in again to the Makeup Obsessions Feels Highlight and Contour Palette. And I'm going in with the shade Best Life just to contour my cheeks. Chisel those bones. Oh, and the jawline. Get rid of the double chin. Get rid of the five chins. It didn't work. It didn't work. Higher chin. Now I'm going in with the Revolution Ultra Blush Hot Spice Palette. And I'm using shade 3 and 8. Yeah, I've went in 
too heavily so again grabbing another brush trying to trying to save myself here battering myself with my makeup sponge just to try and get that blended <laughs> how much battering am i going to do it myself in this video let's see because it just seems that oh there we go just beat myself up again Now I'm going in with the Revolution Pro Naif palette and I'm using the shade Admirer as my highlighter. It is a highlighting shade of course. And look at that glow, absolutely stunning. I'm just going in with the Barry M Fresh face setting spray just to add a little bit more hydration to the face. I felt like it was a little bit too powdery now at this point. I didn't want my face looking too dry. Oh, there's the double chin again. Say hello to that, guys. I really need to lose weight. Now I'm going in with the XX Revolution Define Lip Liner in the shade Disaster. Just lining those lips. My lips are naturally very uneven, as you can see from the video, so I really need to work hard at mimicking the left side. No, the right side, sorry, to really get it to show up good and make it even because it's not as big on that side. Now I'm going in with the XX Revolution liquid lipstick in shade Disaster as well. I don't feel like it actually really works for this look, but. And I'm now going in with a Heart Revolution Heartbreakers lip gloss. Because, well, just try and save the day. And this is the overall look with my wig on. <laughs> I'm thinking I look fancy, but the wig is terrible, honestly. And I realise I must have been talking in this video and I've got rid of the talking, so it will just. yeah. <laughs> 